In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the trainer ratio. So the trainer ratio is a percentage that measures the reward to risk of a portfolio. And when I say risk here, I'm referring only to systematic risk. Okay, so that's actually a distinction between the trainer ratio and the sharp ratio. They both measure reward to risk of portfolios. And so in that sense, they can each be used to rank portfolios and see which ones give you the most reward for the amount of risk you're taking on. But the sharp ratio is actually looking at the excess return of the portfolio divided by volatility. And if you remember, volatility measures total risk. And when we think about beta, beta is just measuring systematic risk. So when we calculate the trainer ratio, we're not going to be using volatility like we did with the sharp ratio. We're actually going to be using beta. We're going to look at the excess return of the portfolio, and then we're going to divide that by the beta of the portfolio. For this reason, because the trainer ratio just focuses on systematic risk, we only want to use it if we're looking at a well-diversified portfolio where all of the non-systematic risk has already been diversified away okay so when we calculate this at this trainer ratio the excess return of the portfolio is going to be the expected return of the portfolio minus the risk-free rate and then we divide that by the beta of the portfolio and again beta is measuring systematic risk so we've got our excess return divided by the systematic risk, uh, risk measure, which is beta. So let, let me do a quick example and just show you how it works. So we've got expected return of the portfolio. Let's say it's 14% for some portfolio. And we're trying to figure out the trainer ratio. We also need to know the risk-free rate of return. So that's 2%. And then let's say that the beta of the portfolio is three. Okay, so now we know everything we need to know to be able to calculate the trainer ratio. So we say, okay, what's the expected return of the portfolio? Well, that's 14%. So we take 14% minus the risk-free rate, which is 2%. So minus 2%. And then we divide that by the beta of the portfolio, and that is a beta of three. So then we'd have 12% divided by three is equal to 4%. So the trainer ratio of this portfolio would be 4%. And then we could compare that to another portfolio. Let's say there was some other portfolio that had a trainer ratio of 3%. We would compare these two and we say, okay, this portfolio here gives you more reward per unit of systematic risk. 